YouTube fam, what is going on? It is your boy Dylan Flex. No guys, this is not a mistake. Yes, baby, I'm back at it again, guys, with another video. Thank you guys so much for watching the previous videos. I hope some of that information, guys, can help you. Today is something special. I'm gonna show you guys, you know what? He's been in a couple of my vlogs before. He's a huge, huge classic collector of shoes. I'm not talking like Yeezys, Jordan, stuff like that. I'm talking like classic Nikes. He has a bunch of Jordans and Yeezys too, but I'm talking classic. I'm gonna go do a little interview with, I'm not gonna say his name yet, but I'm gonna go do an interview with my guy in a second. I'm gonna go through a couple of his sneakers, a couple of his favorite classic shoes that he has. I'm gonna run over there and see what he's got. We're gonna talk business with him as well. I'm kinda doing, as you guys know, a series. Not just about being an entrepreneur, about reselling, but it's about business guys too. So the last couple videos have been about just being a reseller, how to resell, tips and tricks. This is a guy who has a business in shoes, not reselling, but he owns a very, very successful brand and business that involves shoes. So let's see how he started. Let's see some tips and tricks that he has for you guys in starting businesses. Uh, let's see what we can make happen. Let's go. Well, it's the man, the myth, the legend himself. Guys, I didn't want to tell you who it was. Classic Kenny, my guy. Thank you for the intro. I appreciate that. Definitely. Can definitely. you tell them where we're at? Can you tell them what's what's good right now? Let them know what's going on. Okay, we're in the vault, okay, with uh, a lot of my classic shoes. Um, I hope the lighting is right. We're doing the best that we can do. Got some, uh, some of EB's collection over here. Now, this obviously isn't all my collection because I can't get everything in here. But what I have here is definitely good enough for this situation. Yeah, this definitely. is, guys, this is crazy. We're gonna run through a couple of the stuff here. But show them, Kenny, kind of what these walls are, what you have set up, what's going on. I told them we're not gonna worry about just hype. I said that I wanna show classic stuff because you are the classic, classic man himself. Baby. Yes, now, so but I do have a little bit of hype. Now, when it comes to the hype, I wanna st start there real quick. Yeah, just please. To get it out the way. Yeah, let's go. Because I really don't have too much hype here. Now, at the same time, I like the concept of Virgil and off-white and everything that he has going. So when it comes to the basic off-whites and stuff like that, of course, you know, it's not it's not actually costing that much money. Like, you know, me personally, I'm not spending a thousand dollars on a pair of shoes. So right. for me to have like what you have on, you know, stuff like that and uh, off-white prestos and you know, right. all that stuff. It, it, it costs a lot of money, and I just feel like it's it's just a waste of I money. I like that you like what you honest. like, and it doesn't matter the hype, nothing. Oh, you yeah, rock yeah. what you like. That's but, a cool thing. But let me tell you the reason yes. why I have some of Because honestly, you guys know that I am a classic sneaker collector. So a few just little hype beast items. The reason why I have this is because when I'm at the kiosk, okay, when I'm at the mall and I'm, and I'm scrubbing, and you have a lot of these, these hype beasts, you know, the kids from like, you know, Canada, um, I'm sure Australia, over the world, yeah. China, they're all over, right? Right. And um, when I have on a pair of Barclays or some Pennies or some Pippins, they don't know, or Shaq's, Kobe's, well, Kobe. Obviously now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, now. But you're talking about the other stuff, yeah. Yeah, they have no idea who Shaq is. They don't know <laughs> who Charles Barkley is. But they when don't you're know wearing something like this, they're like... Well, they know exactly. Oh. So it's part of my sales tactic when I'm like, oh, for your off-white Prestos, look, it cleans my off-white shoes too. Then they look, oh, he's wearing off-white. They stop. Now they're friendly. Now they want to engage in conversation. And before you know it, they let me clean their high-priced items and they have a pack in their bag. I can't wait to tell them about your business and stuff and I'm really excited to share that with them. Definitely, uh, definitely. Kenny, so this is the hype row right here. So this is just a couple of hype a, stuff you have. It's some of the hype items that are here. So you know. bring me to the back wall or the wall. What else do we have here? Okay, so what we have over here, we have we have some of my favorites. Like we got some foam posits that you know, foam posits, they're they're still they're exclusive to a certain crowd. You know, a lot of people think foam posits are played. But me personally, I don't have a ton of them. I just have the ones that I personally like. Right, I like that. You know, like like these right here. These are the uh, the Tigers um, for the Memphis. You know, he's the coach right. or assistant coach. But um, he, the whole team and the staff had these on. And, right. you know, shout out to the UN. They, they had them available for me. So, you know, I, I picked JC, those up. JC, shout out to JC, the man. JC, definitely. So this is like the penny wall right here. Yeah, so, so. You, so you got some pennies. You got some foams. You got some classic pennies. 
And it's like stuff like this, like, you know. For the classic people that are watching this, they I think love it's a this cool, stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, it's a cool they, thing to show. They love this stuff because you don't, it's like damn near extinct. Right. You know what I mean? Like everybody's just worried about hype and other things. So when you got Orlando colorway pennies, you know, of all the OG stuff. Right. You know, stuff like this just makes people, you know, go crazy if you're from a certain, you know, generation. Like these, like nobody's wearing these right now. No. Nobody's wearing in and a lot of pit cats don't even know what the hell they are. But for the people that do, when I wear this type of stuff, I'm breaking necks. I'm talking about neck breakers coming off your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I'm, I get more love in this stuff than I even do when I do wear some hype or anything like that, you know? So moving and over to the wall over here, is this more your Jordan section behind right here? Or what is this, some Kenny? Of the, some of the Jordans, it's not really too much. You know, you got some, well this right here, actually are my top six that I personally like. I probably have some ones over here that other people think so the top should be in here, but just me from what I have here. So this is the top six Jordans that you have. That I have here, but you know, but personally I have over, just Jordans, probably about 150 pair, but I can't. They're Guys, not I believe here. that. He, I've seen a lot of his shoes. It's, so, it's actually really crazy. So of course, you know, you got some some bread ones and you got some, uh, you know, some, some cement threes. And of course, you know, the bread 11s. All classic, all good picks sixes, in my opinion. Eights, you know, 13s. So personally, just from what I have Jordan wise here, these are just, you know, my faves right here. Okay, so right here, what we have going on is my top 10 night. Oh, actually 11, I'm sorry. You couldn't just do 10, you had to do 11. I, I, had to, I had to throw the other one in because I couldn't leave out the Jason Kidd. Like this, this Jason Kidd is a straight classic. And like I said, it's a neck breaker. The carbon fiber on here is crazy. How it comes up on the panel and just that new buck suede with the, and they came, they come with these laces. It's funny, the way you speak about classes, I can tell how passionate you are and how much oh. you like the shoe. Oh, yes. The thing with you is you are a collector. Yo, I think that a, is so put it cool. like this. If I was single, <laughs> I would take the shoes over over females. So like that's that, the passionate. That's you know, how passionate it is. You know, to I me. talk to you about shoes, and I'm always constantly buying and selling. We have, a, you know, you and I have that relationship of shoes. But being on camera with you, I can really tell how much you really just mess with shoes. Oh yeah, definitely. And like this, my hands down, my most favorite shoe. Uh, Nike shoe in the whole collection like this royal blue foam posit is crazy You know and EB just got the well she got these for me last year for my birthday And it's um this shoe like will never leave the collection, you know, I have another pair in storage It's kind of yellow right and all that but just that happens with age with everything But this right here is you know one of my my, my favorite now of What's course some more neck breakers you got? We got some we got some pennies some penny ones right here my right. brother I know Spencer if you're watching this he loves penny man so oh, I'm sure penny he's gonna ones. love this we got some more pennies right here. We got some Pippins, the AIRs. Everybody knows what these are. And of course, Hype Beasts wear me. these too because they have the Supreme version of it. That's funny. I just did a video and I had I just bought a pair of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, but but me personally, I do like the Supreme ones. But I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna drop the. the I can see you in a gold pair. Yeah, I can see you in a gold. I like pair. the gold pair. Right. I definitely like the gold pair. Like for instance, these gold shoes right here. These are some classic Kennys. They're gold. You yep. see how I got the classic Kenny? I can see, yep, I can see you with those for sure. And then you said I got, got another pair, the classic Kenny. And, um, you know, just in general, it, Nike, you know, it's just hands down, I actually like Nike more than I like Jordan. Right, okay. Even though it's the same company, basically. But you're a classic Nike person, is what you're yeah, saying, Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, definitely. So and what, then, like, these Ken, Gr these Ken Griffey's are crazy to me. Right. Like, this, this, this freshwater Ken Griffey. Let me get closer to this bad boy. Okay. Back in the day in the 90s, or the early 2000s, people were getting shot over this stuff. Yeah. Like seriously, like these GP Gary Paytons right here, this is this is 90s crack right here. Like literally, like these DT96s, Deion Sanders, you know how much damage he did in these? That's pretty <laughs> cool, that's history right there. Like wow. it's, it's crazy, like Deion, like, and that's the purpose of this right here. It's like a baseball diamond and you got the football in the middle because he played both sports. Yeah, that's, that's the, why they put it there and this, this is a retro of the Olympic, you know, Vince Carter that he actually, this is the, the colorway shoe that he was wearing when he jumped over that seven footer in the Olympics and oh, banged on him. It's the shoe. This is the retro of that. And they just retroed this maybe a month and some change ago. So, so you had to get I, that. Yeah, I seen it in, um, where did I get this at? I think it was House of Hoops. I seen it in there right. and it was just an automatic cop. It was like something that just had to happen regardless. And like, this is my favorite Barkley. Like this Barkley is, is crazy. Now remember when Game was saying um, 
damn, what did he say in his song? Who, I'll kill you over my Air Max 95s? Yes. He also brought up another shoe, and that this is the shoe right here that he was talking about. So this and, is a classic. Yeah, classic. he said he'll kill you over these Barclays, basically, too. <laughs> and, and, you know, I'm not going to kill nobody over no shoes, but I like I feel like, yo, I'll beat you up over these. <laughs> like, if I had to, like, you're not taking these off my feet, bro. Like, it's not guy. happening, like, at all. Like, it comes down to just my top 11 Nikes that I just love in the collection. It's right here, you know, right here. And, of course, I have other heat that, you know, that I care about. Like, no, it's an impressive collection on top of obviously buying what you like, but the classic and stuff, you have such history with it. I think it's a cool thing to like share. These, and talk like about. these are the Grandma Malls. Like for those, again, the hype beast, the youngsters, they're not going to know who Grandma Mall is unless they Google it. But Guys, comment down if you know what these are, please. <laughs> Larry Johnson, he um, was the star of, um, he played for UNLV. Yes. Shout he, out to uh, UNLV, baby. Running shout Rebels. Shout out to UNLV. Um, and, you know, he had a hell of a career in the NBA, obviously. And just the fact that, um, you know, he had that character. He'd dress up like a grandma. That's why I was Grandma Ma. And right. he'd be in the gym dunking on you in a, in a dress. You know what I mean? It was just, it was just, I guess it was for promotion, of course. But it just, it, it caught my attention. And it's something that I liked. And I like Larry Johnson regardless. And I just think this shoe is crack. And it's like, you're not going to just find anybody walking around. And it's a little dusty. But you're not going to find anybody rocking, walking around in these. This is this is a neck breaker for sure. Right now, talk a little business with you now. We're going to put okay. the camera down and let's talk business. All right, guys. So on the series of videos that I've been doing lately, we've been talking business and reselling and how to resell shoes. Well, guys, I know you just saw his classic collection. I'm with a very special person and he has a huge brand. Not only that, he probably... Well, I'm just being nice. I know for sure he has the best shoe cleaner on the market, guys. I, yes, sir. I only use EB Kicks. Guys, this is classic Kenny, but this is also EB Kicks. I wanted to talk about it now. Kenny, talk about EB Kicks a little bit and what it is uh, more so. EB Kicks is not just a shoe cleaner, it's a brand. Right, you know? exactly. And it's, you know, it's a brand, it's a family. Um, we just have multiple things going on, you know, and the actually, a lot of people want to know, like, what does the, the EB stand for? Yeah, well, a lot of people don't know what that is. Well, the E stands for Aline. Right. Which is my wife. You guys all know who EB is. And the B is for Burbick. That's my last name. So we had to find a way to it's integrate the two, two yeah. together when we, were, when we were creating our brand. Right. So that's how the EB came. And, of course, kicks, because we're all about kicks. You know, the whole family has kicks, guys. This is literally just Kenny's side. If we wanted to go to EB's kicks on her side, some of her kicks over here, and, and that's looks, it's definitely a lot. That's but. legit, just a whole nother video on that. Yeah. So, Kenny, where is EB kicks? Let's talk a little bit about that too, so I can tell them and kind of share with them. Well, I mean, is it an online business? Like, explain oh, yes, to them so they can see. Definitely an online business. Um, lots of people know about the brand. We. Our main, what we do mainly is distribution. Right, like, okay. Like, you know, we like we sell to Foot Locker. Um, well, the product isn't in Foot Locker stores, it's in Foot Action stores. But Foot Locker wow. actually owns, you know, Foot Locker. Foot Action is huge, wow, yes. In Foot Action. So, basically, we're selling the product to Foot, to Foot Locker. Right. And I know it's, at the moment, it's in their flagship stores. Right. And, um... That's just not the only people we sell to. We right. sell to, you know, people with consignment stores and right. just other people that have kiosks. Right. Like people will DM me and they're like, hey, this is what I do on the side. I have X amount of money. I wanna I wanna put it into a business. Mm -hmm. I wanna make it make me money. Yes. So I see what you have going on in the mall. How do I get that going? That's exactly kind of what I want to talk to them about. Too. Yeah. That's exactly the business and the stuff I want to say. Because, guys, it's just not about reselling. This is another shoe company or shoe business that he has literally built from the ground from up. From the ground up. And you know what? Honestly, you don't have to quit what you're doing to be able to be successful and have another source of income. You, Give you, them you, some you, tips you, how you, you think. Um, you just have to be – well, first of all, you have to be smart about your money. Okay, you can't just blow it for no apparent reason. You have to put X amount of money aside a day, which equals out to a week, which equals out to a month, which equals out to... we live in a generation now to where it's really easy to spend. All of a sudden, you're like, yo, it, I want those off whites. Yeah. I'm going to get some Gucci. Shit like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 which is a waste of your money. Right, exactly. It's definitely a waste of your money. And um, if you buy into... 
Basically, when it's coming down to a business, you want to take your money and put it into something that's going to make you back your money and some, of right. course. So a kiosk, What basically what they do is you go to your local mall or whatever busy malls in your area. So you have a kiosk yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. one of the busiest malls, would yes, you say? Yes, in Las Vegas, the North Premium Outlet. and One um, of the busiest malls, I think, hands down. Tourists, and it's, it's crazy. Every time I go by yeah. the place, man, there's a ton of people there it's, it's oh yeah yeah it's 90 percent tourists right so you you really don't see people from the city unless they're purposely coming up so you have a whole place. staff that's there yes the right. staff there okay uh, of course the boulevard mall the boulevard right. mall was just the main location where we first started, first started okay yeah the first eb kicks booth but there's plenty of people around the united states that we sell product to and then they go to their local mall and they open up and then you know right. they're making okay. money. and then they call me um they thank me every month and I'm like, yo, you don't have to call me and thank me every time. They're like, no, you changed my life. Because the simple fact that I can still do what I'm doing. Right. I have a staff of a team of cousins or friends that really, you know, are independent. They can't, for some reason, can't have a regular job. And you well, know, we just we're talking about. Yeah, and they don't want to resort to doing anything illegal or bad. Right. So they're like, yo, I need a hustle. So when they provide that, pay them all rent, have the product, everything there for them, um, then you know, they're in there obviously operating and right, yeah. conducting business and they're selling the product and they're making a good amount of money because at the end of the day, you know, it, that's what it's really about. And when you're buying stuff for the wholesale and it has like a $500 markup, you can't lose. I was just telling them in the last video about bulk buying, about bulk buying and bulk selling. Yeah. So I was in the house with you, we were obviously talking and I keep hearing your phone cha-ching, 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 yes, right? Yes, yes, the Shopify. Let's Wow, wow, <laughs> yeah, I hope yeah, you guys yeah. heard that. Yeah, Let's yeah, talk yeah. about online business. How powerful yeah. do you think it's having very, an online it's business It's very business you can make money when you're sleeping. Right, okay. You know, um, just the power of how many people social media gives you the opportunity to touch. And you have a big following on EB Kicks, right? You have what, yeah. 170,000 or yeah, something about, or so? Yeah, about 170 yeah. k people following. So I see a lot of reviews and I see a lot of stuff. Um, a, lot of the time, a, a, a lot of the time, the, the kiosk does very good. You know, Correct. Averages Correct. Good amount of money a day. I'm not going to put the exact amount out there, but if you guys really want to know, hey, just DM me. We'll get the product going and oh, give wow. you an opportunity. I normally don't really just sell product to anybody because there are guidelines and you know certain ways that the, the brand is supposed to be represented. But um, I'm definitely considering just opening up the doors and letting some people in. So. We're in a generation now, and 2020 is so crazy because there's so many different ways to make money. If you're That's not crazy. making money, though, you know there's something wrong. There's something wrong with yeah. your mindset, your your uh, your plans. You got to change it up. You have to do yeah. it. You know. No matter how you were, and and like basically like the way your structure is, even if you're a closed-minded individual, it's 2020. You can be an open-minded individual. You just have to, like you said, right. change your thought. Right. Right. You have to to adapt. You know what I mean? Because you have to adapt. The times go on. Like online is where it's at. I get a lot of questions and I get a lot of stuff. How do I start? What are the steps and what are the things I do? Like I want to have a business. This is my passion. I just was saying this in the last video. What are a couple steps that you think that they should do to start wise? Well, first off, save your money. Okay. Second of all, find a good product. Make sure that you, and whatever you invest in, whatever online business you start, make sure you know something about it. Do your research in it too. There's no rush, you know, you still have your regular job, you're still doing whatever you're doing, but just take the time to make money for yourself too. Until that hobby starts like, to really go. Yeah, that's, that's so, why you're here. So investing in yourself is obviously the, the most important thing. You, you, you have to, you can't forget about yourself. Right. You know, you can still do what you're doing because that got you through the door and that pays your regular bills or whatever. Right. But if you want to get ahead, if you don't want to be check to check, then you, you definitely have to do something. Like you have to have a business. And honestly, online is the best way to go. He's 10, right. 15 years from now, you know, that's where everybody's really going to be shopping. That's the way it looks like now. I think he's absolutely correct. I think investing in myself and taking a gamble on myself was obviously the best choice. It's scary to make that jump and to do that. But once you do that, Kenny, you know, it's very rewarding that you think. It so. is, but you do got to put the work in. You got to put don't the work think in. It, don't think it comes overnight either. No. You know, I, I started EV Kicks, what, four and a half, five years ago? Okay. And to be at the point where I'm at now, you know, I had to bust my ass. I had to do what I had to do, you know? And as long as you don't mislead nobody, you're very honest, you're truthful. Right. And you don't live to get over on somebody. No burning bridges and stuff. And, you know, yeah, exactly. You and you know what? The universe will treat you the way you treat people. Right. It goes right back around. So just treat people with the, with the respect and the kindness, and it comes right back to you. 
regardless. Where do you see EB Kicks now in the future? I don't want to say an exact year, but where do you see your guys' brand in the well, future? Well, just getting bigger and bigger and bigger because right. my whole thing with me, like even with cars, houses, the business, I'm going, my main goal is to pass this. So you always to stay my hungry. Kids. So always staying hungry is obviously a thing. Yeah, yeah, but this is for my kids though. Right. Because I don't know how they're going to be in society. I don't know if society's right. going to accept them. Right. So my whole point is to build this up for them right. so to make it easier and then teach them the ropes so when they get into it, right. they know what to do and they don't flop. I think you having know, a family business and doing it is one of the greatest things ever. It's the best thing ever. I think that's the greatest thing. You know, what are you doing? Spending time educating your own family and your own kids, you know, and your wife or whatever the situation is. It's just important to make sure that you build wealth and you got to do it within your family. You know? Classic Kenny the family guy. He's, 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 really, he's really the family man, that's, that's awesome. Kenny, I love that you were showing us your shoes and I love to talk business with you, man. It's cool to hear a different perspective, obviously, when it's not coming, because you know I obviously sell shoes. When it's something to do with shoes, but it's not shoes. I have to say, I've known Kenny for multiple years now and I've been trying to get him on camera and to talk and it finally just worked out now. I'm honored to have him as a friend, not only to do business with him, Sorry. to talk and to do stuff like that, uh, to be able to talk to you on video and to share and to be able to have people see uh, Man means everything. So, Kenny, yeah. you know, I appreciate you. Definitely. Classic Kenny. We're going to do more videos, guys. So, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned for the series, guys, too. Constant videos of business, entrepreneurship. Uh, if you guys like it, leave a like, comment, and guys, make sure you subscribe. Self motivation. Remember, never give up on yourself. Man, I just want to go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my head.